In today's video, we're gonna make a really cute bunny for Easter. It is so cute. When our new couch was delivered, it was wrapped in this. And I recently saw someone use cardboard to make this cute bunny. She used regular cardboard and tore the top layer of the cardboard off to expose the corrugated inside, which was a very cool idea. And I will put all of her information down in the description. When I saw this cardboard, I thought it was perfect to use for this project. And I think it will be easier to cut because it's not so thick. So I printed the bunny template out. Um, but I wanted to make mine larger. So I just looked at the template and then freehanded it onto this cardboard. And it's fine that it has all of these pencil marks on it because it's gonna be on the inside and this part will be on the outside. And now we're just gonna cut him out. So now I'm going to go grab another piece of the cardboard. And so now we're just going to use this bunny as a template and just trace around it on the smooth side of the cardboard. and then we're gonna cut it out. I don't have the same color paints as she used, so I'm just gonna use what I already have and we'll see how this turns out. And we're gonna be mixing our paints with joint compound. And I'm just gonna apply it with this little plastic piece and I'm really not even sure where it came from. And the first color that we're gonna be using is chalk paint in hazelnut. And we're just gonna mix that up really good. And the consistency is pretty thick. So we're just gonna apply the paint mixture to our bunny, but we're not gonna cover him completely. And then I decided to use a paintbrush to apply it. And then just to speed up the process, I'm using my hair dryer. And it was almost dry, not completely, but I think it's dry enough. So we're gonna go ahead and add our second color. And you can use anything to apply the paint mixture. Um, now I'm just gonna use a gift card and cut it and make it a smaller size. Now I'm adding antique brown and for all the paint colors I am mixing it with the joint compound. And just like we did with the first color, we're just going to smudge it here and there and try to get it on his tail and his feet and his ears. Just don't cover your bunny completely because we want our other color to show through. 
So just smudge it all around, just wherever you think it needs it. And for the last color, I'm using this chalk paint. Um, the color is Nimbus. And then just make sure you mix it really well. Then I decided to add a little bit of this Snow White chalk paint. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna be using this plastic knife to spread it across my bunny. <laughs> I'm just using anything I can find. Okay, so now I'm just taking my knife and patting it to give it a little bit of texture. gonna dry it with my hair dryer so we can move on to the next step so she used a brown wax around the edge but I don't have brown wax but I did find this wax in my garage um, it's white so I'm gonna try to mix a little bit of this antique brown paint into it and we'll see how that works to apply this one I'm using this little brush that came with the hair coloring kit and we're just gonna go around the edges to make him like more defined And after I went completely around the edges, I lightly brushed it all over the bunny. the same thing to our other bunny and he's pretty stiff
so now we're going to take these dowel rods and I cut one shorter and you'll see why in just a little bit and I'm just using some of the leftover brown paint that was mixed with the wax and just covering the dowel rods okay so now we're going to take our bunny and flip him over and I did paint the back side just a solid color okay so now we're just going to take our painted dowel rods and because he's such a large bunny I thought he needed two sticks to hold him in place and this is why I cut one shorter and then the longer one can go all the way up towards his ears. Okay, so we're just gonna hot glue these sticks on. Now we're going to go around the edge and hot glue our bunnies together. And then I decided to take some of the dark brown paint and go around the edges to camouflage any of the areas that didn't really match up completely. And then my sweet husband and my sweet son ran to Walmart for me and picked up some material. And they brought back this white, cream, and pink. Okay, so we're just going to take the material and we're going to tear it into strips. And then we're going to tie a very simple bow and hot glue it to our bunny's neck. So like right now I was trying to decide if I wanted to go with the white one or the pink one. And then I decided the colors weren't right. So I decided to use coffee and change the color just a little bit and make it look more vintage. Okay, so this is the white one. And then I did the pink one. Okay, so after you dye them in the coffee, rinse them in cold water. I went ahead and dropped in a few more pieces because I loved how they turned out so much. I'm going to use them somewhere else. And then just add like a splash of vinegar into your water and this just sets the color. Okay, so I'm going to be using this crock pot that I thrifted. And because it's so wide, I'm using this thrifted vase that I DIY'd in one of my earlier videos. I'm just going to set it down in the middle so that it holds my flowers upright and they don't um, just fall out to the side and then I'm gonna add more hydrangeas all around it mm -hmm. 
Now I'm adding these little green flowers just to fill in the space. And now we get to add our cute little bunny. And just using floral tape, I added longer dowel rods to it because I originally was going to use this in a different container and then decided to use this one. So I had to make the dowel rods longer. Okay, so we're just going to slide him right in and here's how it turned out. I love how this turned out. So y'all go check out Kathy at the Chippy Farmhouse. She's so creative and so talented. Uh, go check her out. And thank you, Kathy, for this super fun, creative project. I love how it turned out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you liked it, the thumbs up and comment. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.